Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how to install Stability AI Stable Diffusion XL Base 0.9 in Comfy UI. These are two powerful tools that can be used to create realistic and creative images, and show you how to use it with the user friendly Comfy UI interface. We will run Stable Diffusion XL Base in the Compy user interface. This UI is very lightweight. However, if you are not familiar with nodes, it can be intimidating. I think we can also refer to this software as node based, similar to Fusion and Nuke. Anyways, let me explain a bit about nodes. They refer to specific graphical elements or objects within a scene or environment. Think of them as building blocks or components that can be used to create more complex graphics. Nodes can represent various things, such as shapes, textures, colors, or even more advanced elements like lighting and shading. But don't worry, I explained the basic usage of CompyUI in this tutorial. Let's begin! CompyUI is surprisingly easy to install. All we need to do is follow these three steps. Okay, let's proceed! First, let's download the files from Hugging Face. I have included the download link in the description below. You will need to create an account if you don't have one. Just follow the instructions on how to do it. On the Hugging Face website, go to the Models section and search for this file. Then click on it and go to the Files and Version tab. Then scroll down. And download this file, SDXLBase 0.9. Click here and it will initiate the file download. Return to the model section and also download this file. Now, go to the installation guide of ConfiUI on github.com. I have included the download link in the description below. Scroll down to the installation section. Under the Windows section, click on this link and it will automatically download the file. This is a 7-zip file. Once you have the file, create a folder and place it wherever you want, naming it whatever you prefer. Cut or copy the file into that folder, then simply extract it. I am using WinRAR. Just right-click and choose Extract here. Now, copy or cut these files into the checkpoint folder. Now, let's run the UI. We have two options if you want to run using your CPU, use this. Alternatively, if you want to use your GPU, use this. We are now inside the Compy UI environment. Here, we can see various nodes that are essential in creating an image. This is the default structure of the node tree workflow, consisting of seven nodes. Using this structure, you will be able to generate an image. Starting from the left, we have the checkpoint model node where the SDXL base resides. Next are two clip nodes where you will input the positive and negative prompts. Then we have the latent node where you can set the size of the image and the batch or number of images you want to generate. After that, we have the key sampler node where you can set the seed, configuration, CFG, steps, sampler name, etc. Following that, we have the VAE decode node and the final node where the rendered result will be displayed. I will create another tutorial to discuss the nodes in more detail. Let's go back to the checkpoint node and check it. Here, besides the SDXL base and the SDXL refiners, you will also see two other checkpoint models. These two models are from Stable Diffusion Automatic 1111 and are currently installed on my computer. I simply made a copy of those models for Comfy UI. For those who are new to using this software and haven't installed the model yet, you can download it from the Civideo website. I have placed the link in the description section below. Alternatively, you can watch my tutorial on how to create an AI lookbook by clicking on the card displayed over here. 
Let's return to CompiUI and generate our first image using the Stability AI Stable Diffusion XL Base 0.9. We will also use the default prompt. Now, let's generate an image. Simply click the Q Prompt button here and let CompiUI generate your image. Once you click this button, you will notice the nodes highlighted in green, indicating the step-by-step -step processing of creating an image. Over here, you will also see the progress indicator in green color. Let me remind you guys that I am using a low-end VRAM NVIDIA graphics card, so I need to follow the recommendations from the GitHub guide to install Torch and Xformers. To do this, simply navigate to the folder where you have placed the UI, then type CMD in the address bar. Copy and paste this command and execute it. This will be the prompt if you have successfully installed it. By the way, make sure that Python is installed on your computer to run PIP. We have successfully generated our first image using Stability AI Stable Diffusion XL Base 0.9. And there you have it folks. You've successfully learned how to install and run the Stable Diffusion XL Base 0.9. It's a simple process that opens up a world of possibilities. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up. By subscribing, you'll stay updated with our latest tech tutorials and guides. Thank you so much for watching and have a fruitful day!